Hey internet, a lot of you wanted me to upload a video that shows how I built an entire Wikora user interface from scratch. And I built one for the Windwalker on stream and I figured this would be a good video to upload. Warning, it is a fairly long video that is very unstructured. However, if you follow along for the entire video, you will be able to learn how to create the simple building blocks of my Wikoras before progressing to build the entire Wikora set with complicated triggers and conditions. My intention is to release user interfaces for every spec out there in World of Warcraft eventually, and I'll release the user interfaces and Wikoras class by class because that's what people wanted. So what you see in the video for Windwalker will make it to my channel and website for free download really soon once I complete the Mistweaver profile as well. As always, if you have questions about building your own UI, you can stop by my live stream to ask questions. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Enjoy the video. So I'm in my Windwalker right now, Windwalker spec. And let me just remove this so it doesn't get in the way. It's just whatever. All right, so. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, am I? It's fine. All right, so Windwalker. Um, the first step is to create an icon. And I'll show you how to create an icon that is basically the building blocks of my Wikora and my user interface. So from scratch, it is literally new aura icon, right? And it's super simple. Um, it should not be in my Brewmaster stuff. Let's just call it like Windwalker action or something like that. Um, the trigger, then it's basically the spell name, right? So I think for Windwalker from the notes I wrote, like my I want my first button on the left to be blackout kick. So my trigger is literally I go into the status and then the cooldown progress of a spell. Like the trigger in a weak aura frame tells you what is the weak aura gonna read. In this case, it's gonna read the spell cooldown of blackout kick. So this will be the trigger that makes thing active right so let's just call it blackout kick and it needs to load when i am a monk and when i'm a windwalker right so the other thing is um what to display to show always. There you go. So this is firstly how you create an icon chat. And then, you know, just to give you a semblance of how to shape the icon, um, you can basically change the width here, make it different heights and whatnot. Um, and I'll walk you through what the display tab means, okay? So basically the icon source currently is dynamic information, so you'll take it from the trigger. Um, and position is simply like you can you can simply move like the X offset to meet to move the icons around the screen as you guys can see. Right? I wouldn't play with it. But um it is important that you understand how to change the size here. Because I'm gonna use a template to accelerate the process of creating my UI. But it's important you understand how to change the size of the icons here, right? And then there's something called text, which is what is it gonna show? By default, it will show percentage S, which is the number of stacks of the uh, ability. So like, for example, there's some abilities that has two charges, right? So percentage S would basically show two charges that is available. Um, and just catching on questions here, I think someone asked about healer UI. Um, yes, my UI is healer friendly. It will come with hots and stuff. It will come, trust me. I used to be a healer main, so uh, I'll make sure those are there. Um, Slayman Knight says, is there a reason to use Monk and Windwalker to load and not the class and spec load condition? Um, the reason why I use that is because, um, I don't know, that's always the way I've done it. You can definitely do it either way, either way. So you can use like in combat, for instance, you can even use like player name. It's all possible. So the load tab basically tells Weekora like, when do I load this Weekora? When is it active? So for me, my Windwalker Wikoras are only active when I'm a monk and when I'm a Windwalker, which is self-explanatory. 
uh, Zenfer, this will be on YouTube. This entire vault will be on YouTube for reference because a lot of people keep asking for that. So I figured I'll do that. Uh, Slaymanite says there's a class and spec combined condition. Yep, you can definitely use that. That's 100% okay too. I'm just a creature of habit, that's all. Okay, so when it comes to text, um, some people have spells that have stacks, right? So that's why you use percentage S to track the number of stacks um, in, in, your, in your ability. But we're going to track progress because that's what most people use. So percentage P basically tracks progress. If you don't know what it means, just hover over the field here. It will tell you what does the, the string basically track. In this case, percentage P tracks progress. So how long till the um, you know skill come back on cooldown, right? And you can change the font here, which is what I always use. I always use this font, Accidental Presidency, is what I use throughout my entire UI. I might anchor it to the center because I hate when it looks like so weird um, to the bottom right. Um, so I put it to the center. We use a bigger size here or something. You guys can see the size here, right? So like, for example, I run to this guy, I use back out kick here. Wait, did I not buy my back out kick? Yeah, hang on. Oh, I know why I don't have energy. <laughs> Wait, hang on, why is it not working? Oh, sorry, my bad. There's no cooldown to it. Sorry, we need to change it to something else so you guys can understand. Um, Let's use, let's use something else. Um. Okay, let's use uh, let's use the interrupt because it's easier. Let's use spear and strike, right? Which is this. Um, and you should toggle exact spell match, which I will do for you anyway. So it will basically track by spell ID. That way, if you're using a foreign language, it's completely okay. So now, when I go and interrupt the guardian, oh shit, I didn't bind it. Crap. Hang on. Uh, bind it. Cap slot. Where's my cap slot? Oh, I think it's here. Yeah, there you go. Right, so when I interrupt, you can see it's now on cooldown, right? But it's not ideal. It's not ideal because um, I want it to be basically uh, grayed out like my weak aura, right? Like I want, I want it to be clear that I can't use it at that point. So one of the things that I can add is basically I will add a... Um, where is it? Show cooldown. Here you go. I want to show cooldown swipe so the you know the icon will show a cooldown swipe to tell me whether it's available or not. But the other way that I like to do it on um you know my my UI is basically to desaturate it. Um and you guys can see what I mean by this. I'll just quickly show you my Avengers Demon Hunter. So you guys can see like when the thing is on cooldown, it basically is desaturated. Um that's what I meant. So it's under the condition tab. The way I did it, um, it's like when it's on cooldown, it's desaturated. Um, and you know, when it's not usable, it is desaturated. So let's apply that to the weak aura that we created together. Go to condition, create a new condition. And the condition here is if the spell is on cooldown, right? It's true, then it's desaturated. So if you go to see if I go to the Guardian and I just interrupt again. Wait, it's not desaturated. Hang on. Mid, I mess it up. I think it's spell usable. That should fix it, I think. Wait, hang on. I messed something up. Something's a miss. Oh. oh, I think I know why. Hang on, let me just double check the logic. I need, I need to recall what I did the last time. On cooldown and spell usable false. Okay, let me fix it. Um, it's not N. Just 
Sorry, chat. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Just fixing this first. I'll desaturate it. There you go. I remember why. I need to check the checkbox here. <laughs> That's why. I right, buy your work now. So if I go to the Guardian and I interrupt again, you guys can see like it's desaturated, right? So that's how it how it works. Um, Mary Rand says, is there any way you can put the key bind on the Weakora? Yes, you can. You can put the key bind on the Weakora, but it's super it's super cumbersome. Um, and it's not great. I wouldn't advise it. But what you can do is um, you can literally go to add another text here. Um, add text, right? And you literally put something like, for example, your keybind is caps. So I just type caps, right? And um, it will appear, you see, you see caps here? It'll appear as caps, right? So this is how you can put keybinds in a very ghetto way in um, LVI. But it's, it's not great. I don't advise you doing it. Like it's always better to memorize it if you can. Um, hang on, I need to flip this to My proper elf UI that I've been using. And the anchors are off center for some reason. There you go. Okay. Um Alright, this is some depressing music. Let me just skip this music. Okay, so so far we've talked about how to basically desaturate and this is now exactly how our Weakora pack is working, right? Um, and of course, there's some decimal stuff that some people might not like, um, which you can configure under, I think it was display, format options, and then you change it to 12. So like, you can choose your decimal places, right? Um, so it's really simple. Um, Catching back on tra uh, on chat here. How do you use Celestial Brew? Um, Jatril, like you use Celestial Brew if like there's a big hit coming and you save it only in those times. But if not, try and always, um, you know, use it off cooldown. Only if like you have a very big hit coming, then you save Celestial Brew. Um, I won't read statements for now. I just read questions. Uh, Brewmaster Weakora track Fire of Serenity. This is different. My Fire of Serenity is tracked through another consumable Weakora, which I'll go through another time. But it's not tracked in my Brewmaster Weakora. Um, yeah. All right. So that's all the questions. I would answer. I would read the statements for now. So. Okay, so that's about it. Like, you guys now understand how to create a very basic icon. And the tutorial that we just ran through basically would help you in creating every single icon you need in your entire um, toolkit, right? So for example, if you don't want to track, I don't know, you don't want to track what I just tracked, you can track Touch of Karma, right? And this will be Touch of Karma. And that is basically a super simple. All you need to know is how to configure display tab to basically make the icon look different big small position triggers what triggers the weak aura to be active you know um what what is the thing that is tracking in this case i'm using status cooldown progress spell and you can definitely toggle it to like cooldown progress for items or equipment slots for your trinkets to make it super simple and conditions is how you uh, tell the the add-on that in certain scenarios i want my weak aura to function differently um, you can even do like glow and like color and make it look different. Uh, but I always use desaturate here. Uh, but yeah, Dr. Hobbit, thanks for helping out the question there. I do agree with the statement. Um, in, yep, so, so that's basically it, chat. And then the load tab basically tells you like when is the weak or active. So that is the basic of creating an icon. And now we can talk about how do you build an entire UI uh, from my template, right? So I'll just call it to be deleted because I don't need it. 
I don't want to see it either. I didn't never look. Okay, so then you have the question like, okay, so I get it. Um, how do I then, you know, create a weaker of mine? The fastest way is to just duplicate my template. So this is what I'm going to do. You take my brewmaster, like in this case, you know, take my monk, simply duplicate it. All right, and just call it like Windwalker. It's now called Windwalker. And then what I'll do next is that I'll go to the load condition and I'll change everything to Windwalker. That's the first thing I'll do. And then you can see like, okay, it now looks really strange, right? Like, you know, some stuff like this all over the place, which is fine, that's normal. You need to work through icon by icon, uh, icon, by icon to fix it, basically. So let's go to the template that we created together. Do we need stagger as a wind walker? No, but you probably need energy. Um, and that's what I will track um, as a monk. Um, you probably want to track chi and energy. But for now, I would say that this is not needed. So I'm going to say to be deleted because I don't think you really need to track energy in terms of the actual um, digits per se. Um, so that's that. And then, is there anything I would like to track and do the charges? Probably not, right? Um, so, I'm just gonna put this to be deleted as well. I don't think like there's like purifying charges to track as a Windwalker, so that's not needed as well. They're all Brewmaster stuff. So I'm making a note to delete them later. I do need energy, which is great, right? Um, the other thing is, I need to track the amount of Chi, right? Um... So I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat a little. I'm gonna steal the um, holy power from my from my um, prop pally, and I'm gonna use them from my windwalker. Um, so I'm gonna put it here. Okay. So you have five chi, right? I think it's five or is it six? Maybe it's six. Sorry, I think it's six actually. So I need to create one more. Um, so what I'll do is, well, firstly, I need to change all these to, um, Chi. This Dolph says it depends on talent. I think the default is people run six, I think. Am I right? I don't know. Let me check. Hang on. Um, I don't even know what's the talent built. I haven't played Windwalker in forever. Is it five? Is the meta five now? Uh, let's see. Rogue six. Oh wait, maybe it's five. Right. Okay, let's go with five then. Uh, right. I don't think we do the six. I don't think so. You know what? One very simple way to check is to look at other people's weak auras. Yep, five. Everyone's using five. Okay, so uh, what I do now is I basically change everything to Chi, which is what I've done. And you guys will note that for each of these, they actually track a different power stack. So like one, two, three, here, four, five, right? So I just need to rename them Chi1 so I don't confuse myself. Chi2, Chi3, Chi4. Wait. Wait. It's the wrong order. Hang on. <laughs> it's 3, and this is 4. I'll reorder them then. All right, so that's that. And then I'll just change the color because I, you know, I probably want to see like, uh, I guess my chi being a different color. I don't know. I'll just choose the arbitrary color here. I don't even know what chi is supposed to look like. I'm guessing it's something closer to like light blue, maybe. But light blue is a little hard to see. 
I'll use teal for now. Right. I think this is fine. Um, yeah, I'll just use this for now. Uh, Mr. KPLL, did you get inspired by other URs? This set up all my idea. This is actually all my idea. I set it up from scratch. Um, it's from years of playing this game, and you feel, and I just feel like I need to design myself because I'm OCD about things. So it's not showing because the load is currently holy pally. So slipping that. Uh, but yeah, like it, it definitely is worth the trouble because I can then customize everything to exactly how I want it to be. Um, all right, so what's missing next? It's not showing for a reason. Oh, I know why. I actually do need to. Um, I think it only shows when you press buttons. Yeah, there you go. So what I need to do now is um, I need to tweak the positioning of them because they look a bit ugly. I need to move them higher. So I'll move them higher because like they're overlapping with the energy bar, right? So I need to find like something that works for everything. I think this looks okay. Oh, true. Yep, you can definitely click on this just to see. Oh, we need a bit of vertical space. This is fine. We need a bit, slightly more vertical space. I think that's fine. How did I do it on my pally actually? Mm, there's quite a bit of vertical space on my pally. Hmm. It does feel like it's a bit strange though. 89.5 maybe? Is that? Okay. Um, I think this is fine. Looks okay to me. Yeah, looks okay to me. Okay, so we have sorted out the chi, right? So that's the basic class resource of a Windwalker. Then there's energy, which is, you know, self-explanatory. Um, do we need fonts here? No, we don't need fonts. I toggled off all the fonts. Like, it's not showing any text. It's on purpose. And that's that. And then, uh, now we can configure the actual buttons. And the way I thought about it was... Well, there's obviously blackout kick, and then there is rising sun kick, right? So RSK over here that I would basically use the spell ID for. Uh, blackout kick is not showing because Wait, why is it not showing? Hmm. confused why is it not showing it might just be actually yep you're right it's a different spell id um but yeah it's a different spell id thank you chat you're awesome that's why The idea is 100784. That's why. 100784. Very sharp. 
Um, whoever spotted it. Eternal smile. <laughs> um, Doctor Hobbit says OCD making your chi same color as your health bars. What do you think, chat? Like, what should what color should the chi be? Do you think it should be like the same color as a monk? Like, um, maybe something like green, like this color. Maybe it should, huh? All right, I'm just gonna put it as green. You guys can decide. Obviously, yeah. Okay. Okay, class color. Got it. All right. Let me get the exact class color. Hang on. Uh, unit frames. Uh, what the hell is it? Remember, there's a color code somewhere. What the hell is it? Uh, actually, no mind. Too lazy. You know what? I'm just gonna go look it up on the internet. Hang on. Probably way easier that way. Just gonna use Photoshop and get the color code. Health coloring. Uh oh, there you go. Wait, hang on. Oh, it's by class health though. It doesn't have the color code. Um not for that particular component, I think. You need custom code. Hang on, I'm just gonna pull it up. Bar setting take class color. Oh, good point. Shit. Sorry, brain's not working. You're 100% right. <laughs> you guys are 100% right. Learning stuff from Twitch chat. Okay, so that's done. And then... I think it looks better now. That's for sure. Now the thing that I want to change is that it's not level with my unit frames. I do want to move it down a little. Um... This is just an OCD thing, I think. It's too much. Things level now. Yep, seems level to me. Okay, that's fine. Probably remove the zero as well. Now I can delete the purifying chi stuff. Okay, so our basic class energy setup is fine. Um, next up, we fix the rotation. So there's Blackout Kick, there's RSK. Um, where's my notebook? Yeah, there you go. Um, I kind of wanted... Fist of Fury as the third one. Should be, yep, it's correct. Yeah, I shouldn't be lazy, I should type it out. Okay, Fist of Fury. And then we have... What's the other one I had? Hang on, I should take talents first, right? Uh, here we go. Hang on. So I can at least get some builds going. Okay, there you go. So dragon punch. There you go. Correct. That's correct. Okay. Then I have dampen. Wait, don't dampen harm. 
what was it that I had on my notebook? Yep, SEF. So we have SEF next. Hang on, let me just name this first. This should be taken when you have the talent selected. Dragon Punch. Okay, then the next one that I had was SEF. Or what I like to call Captain Planet. Storm of Spirit. Or this Storm of Fire. Storm of Fire, sorry. Storm of Spirit is Dota. <laughs> sorry. Okay, that should be it. And there's two stacks to it. So... When I use it once... It shouldn't be desaturated though. Actually no, it can be desaturated because it tells me that something else is active. So it should only desaturate when there's zero charges. So I will desaturate it when it's zero charges. Uh, spell count is equals to zero. And then I would disable this. Does that make sense? Hmm. What if I move this? Hang on, it's not showing the progress for now. At least this is fine. Okay, at least this cooldown is showing now. It desaturates only when... Let me just test whether it works first. It's desaturating prematurely though. Hmm. This is not the right way to do it. Oh, it's charges. Sorry, I'm... I'm not thinking straight. Charges, sorry. Alright, fixed. Done. There you go. That's fine. Anything else I need to add? Should add a buff here. This SEF buff to the buff bar later. Okay, so I'll add it to the buff bar later. That is fine. So I'll add it to the buff bar later and that'll be okay kind of want to actually let me fix it on the buff buffers eternal says because even with zero charges you need to fix the SEF yeah we fixed that didn't we um hang on let me add into the buff buffers 137639 It's grey when SEF is active. I think that's okay though, because SEF will be added to the buff bar. Uh, I'll add it to the buff bar. Like under the buff bar later. So you know SEF is active anyway, and for how long. Um, okay, let's move on. I think if that's the case, I kind of want the thing to be static. OCD. <laughs> um, one way to fix it is simply just change it to a static icon so it doesn't change, I think. I think I'll just use like Storm. Hmm. 
that even so it doesn't change icon ever. That's one way to fix it. Uh, I think I'm okay. I'll stick to my method. I think. Okay, that's that. And then, all right. So it doesn't change now. Perfect. Okay. Um. No worries. Have a good RGB. Um. And then what I'll do is I would need to test the covenant abilities. So let me do that. I haven't bound anything, so. I guess I'll just find it here. That works. Now I need to edit the buff bar though. I might as well configure the buff bar at the same time. Let me do that. Um, duplicate. Change this to Windwalker at B. Uh, which one was it? I was tracking SEF. Yeah, SEF. So this is Storm of Spirit. S Storm of Fire. <laughs> okay, there you go. SEF should work now. Okay, there you go. It tracks this. Uh, okay, doesn't need the timer thing though. So I should have used this. Should use the other one. SCF um, buff. Okay, there you go. That's SCF um, on the buff bar. Okay, covenant, abil covenant abilities I fixed. There's no need to change covenant abilities because they're the same for every spec. I need to just make sure that load conditions are okay. Yep, load conditions are fine. Okay, great. Trinkets. You know, self-explanatory, nothing to change here. Uh, Willow, thank you so much for the support on the stream. Good luck on your work. I'll see you soon. Spell harm. Um, this is not a Windwalker thing, so we don't need it. Um... Wait, it is a Windwalker thing. What am I talking about? Sorry. Late Night Brains, that's why. So I just need to check that my Expel Harm is the same ID. Might be different. Who knows? All right, it's the same. All good. Then there is my defensives that I want to add, which is essentially Touch of Karma. ID is 122470. Okay. Nope, not this one. Okay, there you go. Touch of Karma. The reason why it doesn't show is because of this. There you go. He will show now. Okay, so if I pop this... Oh, I need to use a target. Hang on. If I use it on target, do I get a buff? I think I do. I do get a buff. It's called... 125174. 125174. Sorry chat, lots of mumbling to myself because, you know, the memorize numbers here. <laughs> then I add this to my buff bar. Uh, where is it? Wait, hang on. This is a bad idea. I shouldn't use Celestial Brew as a copy. Cause there's no shield to it but it's just this this is fine this is fine i should be using this this 
a touch of karma. The spell ID is this one. Okay, that's great. Uh, then we have fortifying rule, which is the same. It shouldn't change. I'm quite sure. Nope, it's different. Ha! <laughs> Jokes on me. Two, four, three, four, three, five. Okay, that should work. We test. We can test it later, I guess. Uh, Ropaki says, do your credit card donations still not work? Um, you need to donate through PayPal and check out using credit card. The credit card donations on um, Streamlabs is pretty wonky. But don't worry about donations. Your, your support here is um, all that I need, honestly. Don't stress about it. Um, where was I? Alright, Fort Brew. It's using the wrong trigger. Two four three four three five is what it should be. Okay, four brew is fixed. That's great. Then we have touch of death, which I don't know whether it's the same. Um, Alexandra, I do not have a playlist like somewhere, but um, the song is always to the top left. I know it's a bit hard to see because of you know the bastion background, but uh, the song is on the top left. I've panned my camera here a bit, but I do not have an exported playlist. If that's what you're asking, somewhere down the future though, I will. Uh, 322109, that's done. So, Touch of Death is fine. There's no change. Transcendent is probably different. We don't have that. Wait, do we? Well, maybe it's the same actually. 19996. That was the same actually. So, that's good. Okay. Um, and then we have. Leg sweep, which is the same, I believe, for Windwalkers. This is a monk thing, right? So it should be the same. Yeah, it is. Ring of Peace. It might be different. The same, actually. Um, notifications for donations still work though, 100%. Notifications for donations does work. Oh wait, it doesn't. Hang on. Oh, wait, did I miss it? Hang on. Sorry, chat. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ropaki, my bad. Um, I know what you're talking about now. I forgot to toggle it on. Let me toggle it on. Hang on. I was tinkering around with it. Hang on, hang on. My bad. The alerts for donation, I think that's what he was saying. Thanks for catching that. Alright, it should work now. Let me just replay it, it should be fine. There you go. Ropaki, thank you so much for the donation. Big thank you. And um, a happy Lunar New Year to you as well, Ropaki. Thank you. Sorry about the alert being scuffed. I was tinkering around with it earlier. And um, I didn't quite, you know, fix it. So yeah, apologies. Glad it's fixed though. Uh, this UI will be on my website. It will be. Um, I think it should work now. Right, yeah, everything should work now. Sorry about that, Ropaki. My bad. I was fixing uh, something earlier. Ah, yeah. Um, Streamlabs without PayPal is awkward. I don't know why. But yeah, the the, you know, the donation definitely went through. So thank you. Big thank you. Very kind of you. Um, Coverage. This will be on my website. Probably not today, but like by tomorrow. Because I need time to type up the instructions on how to import. Alright, so leg sweep, ring of peace, everything's fine, all these work. Quite sure, leg sweep works fine. 
Uh, taunt. It should be a monk thing, I think. Do I really want provoke on my screen though? Alright, is there anything else you guys can think of that's more important than provoke? Probably paralysis, right? Like a CC. I think. It's a windwalker. Did I miss out on anything? Like kick can be tracked through my kick bars anyway. Um, there's a bit of utility in Tiger's Last as well. Detox. Hmm. Yeah, I do have rolls and the. Oh, I haven't fixed it. But this one should be Chi Torpedo or Tiger's Last. Over here. Uh, it's getting awkward because I'm running out of space. And the question is, do we track paralysis? But let's say we do track. I guess we don't track detox. We track. Flying Serpent Kick is pretty important to track. And we haven't tracked Invoke Xian yet, which is something that's really important. Um. So I'm thinking. Yeah, Windwalker has a lot of buttons. We might need like some indicator for the mobility options, I think. I'm thinking how to do it. Maybe it's like a bar to the side. That tracks your mobility. Um, Chatter, thank you so much for the five dollar donation. Super kind of you. Um, I'm wrecking my brains here. I don't really want to add additional roll charges, like like a number, but I think I might have to. Like maybe I add roll charges at the bottom here. Like, all right, you guys tell me whether it's a good idea or not. I don't know. Let's see. Let's do it. Add roll charges, I think. So we can keep the mobility stuff clean. Do it under defensives. I was thinking I'd do it under like the rolls. Yeah, un under defensives. Exactly. Could be like bars. Agree. Um, there's so many stuff that's not added though. Energizing elixir as well. Hmm. A flying serpent kick, I guess. This is also not there. But it's 20 seconds, so arguably you don't have to track it, right? And you don't use it that often, I would argue. Uh, spinning green kick. I guess this is a good point. Um, Wait, this is probably not required to track right because it's just chi base it's no g there's no cooldown to it so i wouldn't track it it's fine i think roll we need to track though quick survey do people think we need to track roll explicitly like as two charges if so i think we just create two bars and then we track paralysis no you don't think we track roll Hmm. I guess you can kind of like use your gut feel and yeah that's what I thought as well you should be able to know when it's up right all right so for now let's let's not and see let's how it, let's see how it goes uh provoke will be paralysis I guess no wait no I haven't fixed the invoke shan problem hang on Or maybe I sacrifice the trinket for now. So the top row is all offensive. Yeah, I think that's the solution for now. Um, let me put it this way. 
If you need roll and it's not up, you just die. It says roll Bucky. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Let me take away the trinket first. Because I'm gonna guess that trinket is not as common for on use for a DPS pack. I might be wrong, but you know, people can always add it in. So the way I'll do it is. Maybe that's how I'll do it. I think that should be how it is. Okay, never mind. I'll let people just choose to change trinket from a spell if they want. <laughs> they can always copy my other week or us, or just come on stream and ask me. Should be fine. Okay. Um. Oh, you know what? In the video, I can talk about how to change it to a trinket. That's easy. Oh, never mind. Problem solved. Brains is slowing down, that's why. Okay, so Invoke Jian is here. So all offensive cooldowns are at the top now. I'm starting to think we don't need Expel Harm, actually. Expel Harm is pretty much a useless... Thing to track. I don't know. Do we? I don't know. Let me try. Uh, let me see my notes. Hang on, I wrote it down somewhere. Hmm. It could be useful though. I think it's actually important. Where else can I squeeze space to use stuff though? Maybe I don't track Transcendence. Yeah, I don't think I track Transcendence. As a Windwalker. As a monk, you do, as a Brewmaster, you do. But as Windwalker, I don't think you do. If that's the case, I can use Roll for this. Or Energizing Elixir. Probably for Transcendence. Yeah, I think that's the play. Right, so... That's the play. Um, I do have roll, but I know I run out of space. <laughs> I run out of space because there's still stuff I need to track in my head. Um, yeah, I think that's the play. Energizing elixir. Let's go. Transcendence, where is it? That might be a typo, but it's okay. It's getting late. Okay, fixed. And I should qualify this as, as something if I take the talent. Uh, energizing, Elixir, where the hell is it? 
There you go. Okay. And if it's not an energizing elixir, it is basically what's the other one on the roll? Uh, I wrote it down somewhere. Oh, fist of the white tiger. Yeah, fist of the white tiger. In case anybody uses it, this will be. Hey, misery. Thanks for the support. <laughs> Sorry chat, I know I'm not super interactive when I'm building Vigoras. Uh, it does require some brain work. Alright, so this is Fist of the White Tiger. So if I toggle my talents, it should work. Ah, there you go. Okay. It is fine now. Everything's okay. Um... Alright, let's see what else do we need to track. There's still Tiger Lust to track. And there's Roll. And there's Paralyze. And there's Diffuse Magic as well. Ugh, so much buttons. Maybe you don't track Paralyze. You track Diffuse Magic instead. And Chi Burst, yep. And Chibas. See you, Dr. Hobbit. See you. Mathematical problem. Okay. I'm starting to think we need like additional icons or bars at the bottom to track. So it's either I do tiny icons by the side or I do bars at the bottom. And I can label the bars. And I'm now thinking like which one is cleaner. I am thinking. Big fat square in the middle of your screen. <laughs> I feel very tilted to look at that. I'm starting to think all the mobility options should be classified together somehow. Yep, I'm starting to think like it is going to be bars below. And I can always label the bars when I do the video or when I explain it on the website what they mean. Right? So it wouldn't be that complicated. I'm starting to think bars is the play as well. Um, if they were mini icons though, I'm just trying to think how they might look. Would they be small pips instead of full bars? They could be, they could be. I'm actually thinking of squeezing four, four bars together, different colors. In my head, that's how it exists. Uh, but I'm trying to think of a way to see if I can do them as mini icons whether it will look nice or not maybe it wouldn't but hang on let me look at it um yeah let's do bars screw it let's do bars okay so if we do bars then we can do like up to four bars and all the you all the all the mobility I like all the mobility stuff can be classified at the bottom. Right? That allows me to track other stuff. Yep. Okay. Let's 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 see how it works, right? Diffuse magic over here. Because I do need to track diffuse magic somehow. And then there is chi burst as somebody pointed out. Thirty seconds cooldown. Maybe the play is to not track something with cooldowns. Solve this. They all need to be tracked. Okay. I don't track blackout kick because it's chi, right? I don't need to track provoke. 
Yeah. I don't need Blackout Kick because there's no cooldown to it. It's just Chi. The constraint is Chi. So I can track Chi Burst here. Aha. I'm getting there. And we can fix the order later. Chat. So this will only load on Chi Burst. Okay. Getting there. Offensive is fixed. I don't need to track Provoke, so you can squeeze Damper Hump close to Karma so it wouldn't ruin structure. Agreed. Okay, let's think about reordering them after I fix everything else we need to track. Okay, so there's Roll that we agree will be bars. Spinning Crane Kick is fine because it's Chi based. We don't need to track that. Um. Anything else is missing other than paralysis. Disable. <laughs> Tiger's last. Okay, Tiger's last is mobility, so that's fine. Actually, do we really need bars then? Okay, let's say, let's say, chat, let's say. Ah, uh, I guess it's. Okay, hang on. Let's say this is paralysis, right? Spinning green kick stacks as a conduit. Mm, that's actually true. I think that needs to be a buff. That probably needs to be a buff. It comes under the buff bar, I think. Anything else in new track? Actually, it's possible to squeeze in everything now. I can just put roll for this, change paralysis to tiger slust. And paralysis is not something you use often, right? 30 seconds, I can afford not to track it. I'll probably do that. Yeah, I'll probably do that. I'm just gonna do that. Okay, new plan. This is Tiger's last. And this loads when you select Tiger's last. Okay, when you have no Tiger's last, you can then track. Strata here needs to be higher. Okay, there you go. Alright, then we track roll. Everything's fine. Roll. There you go. Okay. Um, is there anything I want to change about this? Oh, just look at the buff bar. I think this is good enough for now. Do some more thinking after this. Find Serpent Kick? Eh, I don't think we need to track it. Let me see. Is there anything else I missed from my notebook? Ah. In case people run Chi Wave, I need to create that. Do you have both Dampen Hammer and Diffuse Magic? Hang on. Am I hallucinating? 
Temple Tom is... Oh, right. Ah, my bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad. Talent choices. You're right. Sorry. Falling asleep. That's why. <laughs> uh, did, did, did. There we go. One sec. Diffuse magic. I need to label everything properly first. Getting messy now. Delete this. It's getting too confusing. There's no ox statue, right? There's no such thing. Delete. Okay, good save chat. Tempen hum. Thanks for pointing it out. You guys are the best. Talent selected, diffuse magic. I'm starting to see like so much benefit in creating it on stream because people are spotting mistakes. That is so helpful. Okay, so if I talent it to Tempen hum, everything's fixed. Okay, perfect. Um, what's something else I remember I needed to fix? What was it? Chi wave and chi burst, yeah. Chi burst. RSK. Wave, there you go. Okay, done. I think we're good in terms of icons. Now we need to track buffs. This buff is fine. The invoke Shen is also something that we need to track. If I'm not wrong, it's a buff. Is it a buff? Maybe not. No, it's not a buff. It's a pet though. I guess it's fine. I'll track it as a pet. <laughs> For now. Yeah, probably just track it as class totem. So the same as consecration. Okay, let me add that. Hang on. And you get our combat. Please let me get our combat. Hmm. I'll edit the same way as I do for. Consecration, I guess. Uh, student combat. This is the worst part about creating Picoras. You can't get off combat. Oh, it's cut. Okay, never mind. Uh, please get out of combat. Maybe. Thoughts? Okay, so at least let me think through like what I need to add. So there's a class totem, diffuse magic, energizing elixir, it's a fury, I think. Uh, the gig what that is actually for um using devotion aura, a reminder to use devotion aura. What is with this thing? Okay, I'm just gonna force log out. Hang on, <laughs> this makes no sense. Ugh. I'm still in combat. I think the dummies there are super buggy. Uh, ability tracker at the bottom, that is actually an add-on. It is called um, Truffy GCD. That's what it's called. Okay, logging back on. Wait, what? Okay, I'm no longer in combat. So... Where was I? Oh, right. tracking buffs. Yeah. Okay. Class totems.
Is Fort Brew different here? It's the same. Fort Brew is fixed. Such a comma is fixed. I tested that. This is not relevant. <laughs> okay, I need the class totem one now. Um, Invocation. Where the hell is it? Lazy. Let me check what I did for my prop patty. Let's just copy it over. It's easier. Now I need to figure out what the totem name is called. I'm going to guess it's Invocation, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe Wildhead has the answer. It might not be actually. Wildhead, let me check. Maybe if I just put the word she and it's fine. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see how it works. Hang on, display needs to change. Yeah, I probably shouldn't use it on a tanking dummy. Is this the right icon? Hang on. Super OCD. It's this one. <laughs> yeah, let's see what it works. Moment of truth. Uh. Try it. Oh, doesn't work. Yeah, I'm just gonna look at some other triggers and figure it out from there. The way I'm tracking the um, total must be wrong. I'm just going to import someone's we go around and track. Ah, there you go. Alright, let's see how people track it. Oh, it's a cast. It's not Aura though. Hmm. No, I'm trying to track Invoke Shien as a... as a buff instead of a class totem. But it's not... doesn't work that way. Hang on. I'm trying to think. 
actually know. I'm quite sure people know how to track it. Uh, sorry, give me a second. Yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> but I'll figure it out. Just import someone else's and just see how they do it. Uh, they don't track it either. They only track the progress. Okay, never mind. I'll skip for now. I'm sure there's a way. There must be a class totem somewhere to track invocation. Never mind. Move on. If not, I'll be up all night. Um, okay, what else do I need to track? SCF I've tracked. Wait, have I? Yes, SCF is fine. But the um, text is wrong though. Shit. Okay, should be fine now. Okay, and buff is fine. It's okay. A uh, furious, yes, I'll make my intention is to make it for all specs and classes. That's the intention. Starting the tank starting with um I finished all the tank specs, so I'm trying to finish DPS specs and healing specs. I'll go class by class. The monk is my first one. Okay, so that's done. I can track that. That's great. Uh what else to track? Tiger's last. Okay. Hang on. Uh, no, Tiger Slash is doing a track. It's not a buff. That's important. It's fine. Touch of Karma. I think I tracked this. It's fine. I have this. Um, then there's like Energizing Elixir, which is super short, but 115288. 115288. 115288. Wait, what? Okay, Energizing Elixir is fixed. It's a buff. What else? Fist of Fury? This is not right. It's not a buff. From what I remember. It's not a buff. Um what else? Uh you back up the WTF folder and the interface folder. Those are the two things you need to back up. That's all. Shadow chats. Uh I forgot to bring up two new ones out of the while. Shammy. Out of the thank you guys. Alright, that's that's a good point. Sorry, I need to fix that. You you make a good point, Shadow Chats. I need to fix that. Thanks for bringing that up. Um, catching on chat, I think some people are asking about consumables, we got a, um, these are, these are consumable, we got us. Can anyone find Invoke Shen as a class totem on Wildhead? Because I know for Consecration you can, but on Wildhead I can't, which is super weird. So I need to kind of figure out what's the workaround. Oh, this one, the last use abilities, that is Truffy GCD. It's an add-on. Truffy GCD is what you're looking for. All right, Bastion is flickering again because shitty coding. Um, okay, anything else, chat, that I need to track as a buff for Windwalker? I think that's about it, right? Uh, Buff-wise, anything else? This of Fury is definitely not a buff. Uh, I think that's about it. But yeah, if you guys want to contribute to the project, you know, feel free to send it across. We uh we can definitely use help. Especially with testing too. <laughs> um Okay chat, I think we've gotten all the buffs. That's great. One last test, I guess. One last test. Um Invocation, I don't know, I need to fix that. Oh wait, diffuse magic, I haven't fixed that. Hang on. 
Alphine just linked me this thing. Does it work? Oh, it's custom codes. Hmm. Okay, let me think. Um, I'm trying to look for class totem, but hang on, just look at how other people code it. It is not like how I do consecration class totems. I kind of need to study that a bit more. I'm just thinking, is there a workaround? This just means when you cast. Yeah, it needs to go through the combat lock to say you cast Invoke Xian. But then how do you set a timer on the buff bar? Okay, that is a very tough one. I'm going to pass for now. I'll figure it out later. It's fine. You forge on. There's Dampen Harm as well. Um, Dampen Harm. Typo here. Okay, if I pop Dampen Harm, it is one, two, 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 seven, eight. Six. What else? How can it not be? Oh, oh, I know how to fix it. I know how to fix it. I know how to fix it. I think I do. One, two, three, nine, oh, four. So that's the trigger. So when I cast that thing, combat lock starts, starts to cast. How long does this thing last for? 24 seconds. I think this is how it's done actually. Okay. I don't know. Moment of truth. If I, if this doesn't fix it. So be it. Yeah, it doesn't fix it. God damn it. Um, trigger is still wrong. There must be an easier way to do it. Okay, never mind. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I just need to study this thing. Okay. Anything else? Um, let's see. Status pet health alive. Is he a pet though? Is he a pet or a class totem? Status pet health alive. Wait, is that a pet health alive? Trigger? I don't think so, right? Not this. Yeah, I don't think there's a pet health alive actually. There is a pet. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's a pet. Doesn't seem like it. It's okay. I'll figure it out another time. My guess is it needs to be this. Combat lock start cars.
Last try. Looking at the week or earlier. Maybe it's just as simple as this. Theory, I can just copy this. Custom status. Events, player, totem update. I don't know if you can just copy it like that though. No. I'm gonna try. Who knows? Oh shit, I set up. Let's try. I don't know whether it works, but let's see. Uh, doesn't exactly work. But it's okay, I'm gonna figure it out another time. Okay, any other bars I need to track? I think that's about it, to be honest. I have that, that's fine. Uh, what else? SCF is tracked. Arma is tracked. Okay, that's it. That's it for Windwalker. Okay. I think it was pretty fr uh, fruitful. I think we at least found a way to get all the integ- like, you know. The important stuff down. That's what matters, I think. It's testing the weak us here. Making sure everything's the same. RSK. It's fine. No peace. Hmm. Like. The CF. Tiger's last. That works. Hmm. Okay, I think everything's fine. Okay. Crane kick procs. Yep, that's a conduit, right? Um, I need to equip the conduit. Do I? I can't even equip conduit. God damn it. Okay, hang on. Let me think. Can I even equip conduits? Oh wait, I can! Wait, it's not conduit? I think it's a conduit. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't played with Walker this tier. I have no idea. Um Talon. This one, right? This is the one. Yep, this is the one. Yep, you guys are right, it's a talon. Okay. Hang on, fixing that. Good catch. Good catch. Okay, because I have no key binds, I'm lazy to bind them. I'm gonna click. Uh, wait, that is the tank. Don't wanna go to the tank. Didn't prop. What's the buff called though? Ugh, hang on, just give me a sec. Or we should just bind stuff to make it easier. <laughs> bind one. Okay, uh... Oh, 
this. I think I need to track this as well. One one six seven six eight. B blackout kick. Um, oh wait, good point, sorry. This is why you shouldn't do weak auras in the middle of the night. <laughs> You're right. <sighs> Hang on, now I need to bind something else. One sec. Okay, one and three, I guess. You guys are right. Uh, hang on. Okay, I need more stuff to spend she on. Hang on. Kind of really tired at the moment. <laughs> That's not it. And my buffs. There you go. Wait, is it this? No, it's not this one. Hmm. It's a bit strange I haven't procced it though. Is it a very low chance chat? Anyone knows? This one. Dance of Chi Chi. Because I haven't seen the proc yet. That's super odd to me. Holy shit, okay. Super RNG, huh? Awkward. Okay, I need to buy another key then. <laughs> Ugh, feels bad. Hang on, let me buy an, um Sorry, I haven't had time to kind of set all my binds up, but... I'm still watching my buff bar. I haven't seen it prong yet. If anyone procs it on a dummy, please whisper me the ID. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna look up wow hit now. If you don't proc it here. Okay, looking at wow hit. Dance of Chi Chi. It's not procking. Uh, why does it not proc? I can't believe I haven't procced it. How is it possible? How is this possible? Okay, you know what? Look up while hit. Hang on. <laughs> Holy shit. I need to get out of combat. Delete this. Oh, not this one. Uh... Oh, hang on. Oh, is the icon supposed to look different? Maybe I did proc it. I didn't see the right icon. Ah, my sound is off. But... No, I don't think I proc it. Still looking at my buffs. Okay, nope. I'm just gonna do it the old-fashioned boring way. 
Um, but it's called Dance of Chi Chi, right? I think that's something that we are all sure about, which means that I can just simply do it in the boring way. There you go. Uh, do it six, five, eight, five. to five two zero one yeah okay, that should work okay that's it I think we're done with Windwalker I think and uh of course you guys can give feedback after you guys test it and we can kind of tweak it further um but yeah, I think that was pretty much it. That took longer than expected. Um, is this for PvE or PvP? PvE for now. We we'll do PvP later. Um, but, you know, thanks all so much for the help and the guidance on this. That was super helpful. Uh, I definitely took longer than I expected. I took one hour and a half to do the Windwalker one, actually. But at the end of the day, getting one step closer to getting all the specs done. Anyway, chat, I'm going to go to bed. It's really late over here. It's like 3.30 a.m. Um, but thanks for the companionship. Today was fun. I'll catch you guys soon. Have a great day wherever you are. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if it was helpful, do subscribe to my channel. I publish daily World of Warcraft content on this channel. If you'd like to join me on the next Twitch live stream and ask questions, my Twitch handle is in the description below as well. All my user interfaces are free to download in the description below as well. Lastly, a big thank you to my Patreon subscribers for making this community possible. And a big thank you to you for watching the video. Take care, and I'll see you really soon.